This is the activity that we were supposed to do for page 47, but we didn't have school and then we had a delay, so I'm going to have you do it now. We are supposed to cut these all out, but you can just draw these in your spiral and then you can write the matching inequality statements next to them. So this first one that we have has an open circle on the two and the arrow is going to the right. So we're looking at all real numbers greater than two. So all real numbers greater than two, which is right here. So this matches with that. The next one we have has an open circle on negative 5. So if it's open circle on negative 5, we're looking for a less than or a greater than, no equal to. And because it's going to the left, we're looking for just a less than, negative 5. All real numbers less than negative 5. So that one goes here. The third one, it's a closed circle. Closed circle means it's got to have an or equal to. Because it is going to the left, we're looking for a less than or equal to 5. Less than or equal to 5. So there we go here. Now we have the next one. We have a closed circle on 2, which is going to be a or equal to. It's going to the right, so it's going to be a greater than or equal to. Right here, all real numbers greater than or equal to 2 will be with this. The last one we have is a closed circle. The arrow is going to the left, so it's going to be a less than or equal to negative 2, which is here. So far, each one of these has a match, but we do have some extra statements. So let's take a look at these extra statements. 5 is greater than or equal to all real numbers. So we have a greater than or equal to and a 5. So going down on this right-hand side, here I have a 5 right there. We have an or equal to because it's closed in. 5 is greater than or equal to all real numbers. So 5 is greater than what numbers? 5 is greater than 4. 5 is greater than 3. 5 is greater than negative 1. Does this star uh, number line also match 5 is greater than or equal to all real numbers? And it does. So this also is a matching statement to the starred one, which matches with the blue. Let's go down to this next statement here. All real numbers less than or equal to negative 5. All real numbers less than or equal to negative 5. I've got one up here. That's a negative 5. It's a less than, but it's not an or equal to. So this right here does not match with that number line up there. We're not going to use that one. Let's take a look at negative 2 is greater than or equal to all real numbers. Negative 2. Here is a negative 2. Is greater than or equal to all real numbers. So negative 2 is greater than negative 3. Negative 4, negative 5, yes. This is another matching statement for that number line. 
down here, all real numbers greater than 5. Greater than 5. I do not have anything that matches. We are not going to use that. All real numbers less than 1. Well, I have no circles open or colored on a 1, so we are not going to be using that. So this will be put on page 47 in your spiral. One last item we can put on page 47 in the spiral would be a number line. That's my 0. If we had x equals 0, it simply would be a closed circle on 0. And that's it. It's just one point in time. If we had x does not equal 0, then what would we do with this number line? We're not going to include 0, but we're going to include everything on the opposite sides.